Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 Ultimate Team game. We got a new acquisition to the squad, 99 overall, Chad Johnson. I had to get one of my all-time favorite NFL receivers and one of the best in this game with the high route running, all the other great stats as we had Randy Moss on third down. Of course, we still got Moss on the team. Any version of Randy Moss is really good. We still got the 95 overall one as Marshawn Lynch is our running back. Running over defenders, next play, back to Marshawn, stiff-arming a man, Marshawn running, hesitating, and finally pushed out of bounds at the 30. He didn't even get tackled. Right here, it took three of them to tackle him, and he lost two yards on the play. We come back passing with Donovan McNabb rolling out. Don't like what we see, but eventually we find Chad Johnson, who gets his first catch on the team. New set of downs, McNabb with time, with an open man, Chad Johnson again, and another first down to move those chains, now goal to go situation and a lot of pressure coming off those edges so we just throw it out of bounds to Vernon Davis second down in the back of the end zone Randy Moss with the catch with the score and we almost got our PAT blocked right there it looks like he's trying to time those very well almost got to that one now he's on offense he's got Brett Favre and he slings one downfield to Brandon Cooks he had Cooks he had Antonio Brown he had Sterling Sharp trying to get that four chemistry activated as Antonio Brown gets the catch now he's two for two passing two great intermediate downfield passes this time we try to take away that deep bomb but we don't get pressure and that eventually allows Sterling Sharp to find his way free next play he's going back to passing not really running the ball but why run the ball when you can pass so well and you don't run it well Jordan Howard gets stuffed second down Brett Favre looking to sling one and he does the Kyle Rudolph and he quickly answers our touchdown with a TD of his own and this guy had some really good downfield passing so that's something to definitely watch as we get back into this game meanwhile what he's doing is sending a lot of blitzes he's sending some cornerback blitzes some nickel blitzes that are pretty much unblockable in this game you see he's bringing one from the outside that we weren't able to handle too well kind of collapsing under pressure right there third down here comes that blitz again but we have a lot of time rolling out to the left anticipating the blitz and eventually finding Moss in the middle of the field new play Marshawn Lynch breaks the tackle after running into his own man Marshawn always needs more than one defender to be brought down next play Randy Moss open for the score and once again just reading his blitzes as he blocks the PAT picks it up is not able to return it but still prevents us from getting an extra point right there man this guy was just blitzing a lot I can tell he's pretty good but you know it was all about breaking down his blitzes and trying to find out you know where the open guy was who he's blitz what side he's blitzing on stuff like that so we're doing a pretty good job of that so far two drives two scores as he's looking to get some more downfield passes and brown gets the catch we might have to send some extra blitzes of our own to try to get pressure with the way he's just dotting us up because we're putting eight guys in coverage and he's still finding someone open what's the point that might as well just put one or two of them to rush uh, brett Favre and see what happens second down in 10 he gets the catch right there to antonio Brown 30 seconds left in the half he still has all of his timeouts and he's turning over the ball Janoris Jenkins is on top of that one that was like a pretty glitchy interception right there not gonna lie but hey I'll take it as you see McNabb getting blitzed and taken down right there those quarterback blitzes you know especially those ones that are in the nickel they're almost unblockable in this game. You got to block like a tight end on that side and a running back and all that. So if you don't do that, that'll happen all the time. Or you just got to let go of the ball really quickly, which we've been doing pretty well as he gets one downfield quickly. You can definitely tell that gunslinger is activated the way he got that downfield to Sterling Sharp. Next play, there's Brandon Cooks. For the touchdown and very quickly he scores and once again he's just you know it's not really any plays he's running it's just all the audibles he's calling on top of the plays that you know he's got a number of different variety of ways he's calling these plays and you know it's hard to account for all of them right now i'm just not able to make those adjustments but in the meantime we are doing pretty well offensively so we might as well get back to that by getting ezekiel elliott in the action the backup running back with the spin move the first down now we go to chad johnson accelerating after catching the screen and taking it to the 35 yard line we just at least need a field goal on this drive to take the lead. Obviously, we want a touchdown as we've gotten with our offense whenever we've been on the field. Second down, running with Marshawn. Looked like we had a lane, but we run to our own blocker right there. Definitely going to use a little bit of vision right there. Third down. Speaking of vision, 
that was our first real mistake in the passing game right there. We got to make sure we don't get our kick blocked. And thankfully, we don't. The kick is up and good by Boswell and gets us a two-point lead. Could have been a three-point lead, but we didn't get that PAT block. And that's something to definitely watch as this game goes on. As, well, he's not making any mistakes. We made one mistake, and he also made one mistake. So it's kind of a draw right there, except we got three points out of our mistake. Because we could have gotten that screen for a first down, but we still kicked the field goal. Second down and ten. We just got to get one defensive stop. And the way we're playing offensively, I feel we're good enough. And that maybe it wasn't a mistake by him, but a fumble by Rudolph, a recovery by us, and here we go. We got great field position right here, second down and three, showing some patience, picking up the blitzes, and zipping in one into Tavon Austin. Donovan McNabb can pretty much do no wrong right now, as we have Vernon Davis, his first catch of the day, and that's going to take us to the fourth quarter, as he sends a blitz on second and inches, and we lose two yards in that play. Now third down and two, looking for Moss. But he gets a free rusher up the middle and that brings up fourth down and another field goal attempt except it's a fake Vernon Davis got the first down. I got way too excited for that. I just love me some fakes man I love me some fake field goals, but not throwing I love that shovel man You guys watch the videos you guys I've run that thing enough times and it works almost all the time So I just keep on running and it keeps on working, but more Sean He fumbles the ball and it's recovered by the Vikings Oh, just when we had a chance to kill some quarterbacks maybe get a touchdown and put the game away now all he needs is a field goal because he blocked that PAT earlier as Dallas Clark climbs the ladder he's about 25 yards away from comfortable field goal range trying to squeeze one in the Clark again but that time we have defenders to break it up second down and 10 far drag round I'm okay with that as long as he doesn't go to a first down he did change his offense up I really don't know why Came out in these two tight end sets, even though he was killing us with those other formations. As third down and five, he runs. Hurry up and throws an interception. Deion Sanders all over that one. And Sanders running and gone. Deion, what a play and what a mistake by him. He must have spammed the A button or something on that play. I don't know what happened. It was a gift. And not only will we get the TD, we'll get the win because he rage quits after that one. And we just, you know, persevered through that one. It almost lost it on that fumble. I mean, I can't really complain too much about the fumble because we got that last try because of the fumble. But we just had to stay in tall on defense. And I guess you can say we did. We got, we got to interception. What can you say, man? It's not about how it happened. It's just the fact that it happened. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys next time.